All right, so this video is a quick start to using chat dev. I experiment a lot with AI, and this is probably the most exciting AI experiment I have ever done. So what is chat dev? Well, we all have ideas for software products, either for personal use or to sell and build a business off of. And historically, this was difficult even if you had great programming skills. With chat dev, you can write a simple prompt and then simply watch a team of robots build it before your eyes. You enter your prompt, it starts up, and you watch the CEO chat with everyone about how they should build it, then discussions with the CTO, designers, programmers, and testers begin. Finally, it's done and there's a new folder on your computer with all of the files for your new software, complete with instructions on how to use it. While it's currently tailored for simpler projects, its rapid evolution promises incredible advancements in the near future. I think that the ability to create custom software will be as necessary as knowing how to use a spreadsheet in the coming years. And this is a giant step toward building that skill and I'm really excited to show you exactly how you can run this on your own computer even if you have no coding skills at all. This video will be a beginner level video. I did all this on a very basic MacBook Air so pretty much any computer can handle it. If you're brand new to coding I recommend you watch this video in its entirety in order to get a quick feel for what you need to do and then go to my clone your first GitHub repository video and I will put a link to the, that in the description below. That video will walk you through setting up a few of the basic building blocks you will need for this video. I have a cheat sheet version of this video available to all my Patreon subscribers. It includes all the steps I'm going to go through today. And the cheat sheet also includes a rundown of the many different types of software that chat dev can build. So check out the Patreon link below to support this channel and my mission to bring the power of these AI models to as many freelancers, entrepreneurs, and small businesses as I can. All right, so here are the steps we're going to go through today. First, we're going to set up the software, and I'll show you an example of how to run this software. And then there's a separate setup for watching the team work, which I think is pretty exciting. It's an optional step, but it's one of the cool features of chat dev is you can watch these little video game characters communicate as they're building your software. So I'm going to walk you through that. Then we're going to explore the warehouse. When you download the software, it comes with about a couple dozen examples of successful software projects that it has created and I have dug through that in order to understand the capabilities of chat dev I want to share that with you finally I want to look at some recommendations from the chat devs AI CEO so when we go through the process of watching the team you'll notice that as these teams communicate the first thing that happens is that the CEO announces the new project to the virtual AI team team and that CEO goes through uh, some recommendations of software that the chat dev system is good at creating so I want to look at that because I think that can be helpful in understanding what types of software this can currently create and at the end I just want to go through a little bit of troubleshooting some things that I ran into that may be helpful to you all right, and before we dive right into the demo, I want to give you a quick overview so that when we're going through the demo, you have all this stuff handy. First of all, I want to point you to the correct GitHub link for chat dev. If you just search Google for chat dev uh, space GitHub, you can find this link, github.com, open BMB, chat dev. There's a ton of stuff in there. A lot of the steps we're going to go through, there's some extra info there for that. There's the advanced features are all there. And also, if you're on a Windows machine, all of the commands will be there. All the commands I have are for a Mac or Linux machine. So the steps here are we're going to go into VS Code, we're going to navigate to a new folder, and inside VS Code we're going to open a terminal and make sure that you're in the folder of your project. We're going to click on Git, uh, Clone Git Repository, and we're going to paste that link that we just found into there. And if this is all new to you, don't worry. Just follow along with this and go back and watch my uh, Getting Started Quick Start to uh, Git Repositories. Once we've done all that, and again, this is all included in that, um, that GitHub repository video, quick start video, uh, explaining all these steps. But the next steps we're going to do are creating a virtual environment, then we're going to activate that virtual environment. We're going to install the requirements, which are just all of the different packages that it needs to run. Then we're going to set up the OpenAI API key using this command. These are all the different commands here. I wanted to give you a separate screen with all these because they're a little bit hard to see in the demo. And then this is the prompt. Once we've done all that, uh, you're going to run this prompt, 
which is python3 run.py task then you put your description of your idea in here and then you name your project there so uh, the example here that I've done is a ping pong game named pong so that'll be the example that I use alright so to get started open VS code open this folder here find a good folder for your project I created one called code open that and next we're going to clone the git repository so you can search for this drop that in find your folder select repository destination and now it's pulling everything down off of github that you need for chat dev open a terminal window and we're going to check the Python version because for me Python 3.9 worked well I tried it with Python 3.11 didn't work so well now we're creating a virtual environment and there's a lot of notes about this in my getting started with github repositories video I'll have a link to that now we are going to activate this environment that environment is now activated now we're going to install all the packages all the different requirements you can see it running through all of that great now all the packages are installed we're updating the open AI API key first with that command now we are giving it the actual prompt to create a very simple ping pong game so I'm renaming it pong and then this is the prompt where you describe what this <laughs> software should do so basic ping pong video game and we'll run that and there you go we are off to the races now the this message just shows the CEO is giving the team all of the instructions on how to build this ping pong game and now I want to show you exactly how we can watch the team as they're building it watching the team work is pretty cool this is an optional step but it's one of the things that really draws me and I think a lot of people to this project is you can actually watch these little teams uh, working together to build the app and some of the advanced features which I'm not going to get into the, today will allow you to interact with the team which is really cool so in order to do this again I'm going to do another demo show you exactly how to do it but I thought having some slides here giving you a heads up of what's going to happen may be helpful to go along with that uh, demo so you open another terminal inside of VS code um, so stay in your same window but just act open a separate terminal run this command here and that Python 3 online log command will then generate a URL you want to copy that URL into the browser then you're gonna click chat chain visualizer and I'm gonna show you all this in just a second and then you're gonna go navigate to the company config default chat chain config then you're gonna hit the back arrow on the browser and click chat replay uh, you're going to click upload file you're going to navigate to the chat dev warehouse there's a warehouse folder that stores all the scripts that they create and then you are going to select the log file that's associated with your project and you're going to click replay we're going to open a new terminal window and we're going to put in this command here Python 3 online log slash app.py. This is going to give us the uh, URL that we can use and pop into a browser. Drop that in. And this should come up. We want to click on the chat chain visualizer. We're going to choose a file here. Go into your chat dev folder. Scroll all the way down. Company config. Default chat chain config open you'll see kind of some behind the scenes stuff here which is pretty cool you can take a look at that if you want 
But in order to see these little guys working, we're going to have to click the back arrow. We're going to go to the chat replay now. Upload the file. Navigate to the warehouse. You'll find this in the warehouse of your chat dev folder. Click replay. And let's see. Here we go. This is the CEO giving all the instructions to the team. Pretty exciting stuff. You can see the little chat bubbles above her head. And this will run. And you can then watch it as it goes to the design team, the coding team. And this is the final version of the ping pong game that I created here. Oh, yeah. And then when it's time to run the software you've created, it's just the very same process we went through here. So you're going to open up a new window in VS Code, navigate to where your new software is built. This is in the warehouse folder. And in VS Code, you're going to open a terminal and make sure that you're in the folder of your project. You're going to do the same things. Create another virtual environment using this command. You're going to activate that virtual environment. You're going to install the requirements. And then you are going to run the uh, main command that will get that app going. And that is oftentimes Python 3 space main.py or it might be Python 3 space run.py. I've seen chat dev create uh, different versions mm. so when you download the software you'll notice there's a folder called the warehouse and in the warehouse there is a bunch of different files of other software that chat dev has created I've looked through this and I've organized it into a few different categories here. So you'll notice there are a handful of games. I think this seems to be one of its main use cases is uh, games so flappy bird gomoku poker, tic-tac-toe. Then there's some utilities and tools in there, a calculator, markdown to HTML converter, and a password generator. Graphics and design like Art Canvas, Design Dream, Pixel Craft, and Sprite Maker are all some examples of things that are in there which could be cool to check out. Productivity and organization, so money control, notebook application, expense ease are also uh, some pretty cool utilities for just personal use. Health and wellness, very cool, a uh, BMI calculator, as well as a music player in the entertainment and media category. I haven't really experimented with that music player. I imagine it's fairly basic, but these are a quick look of the things that are in the warehouse. So this can help you as you're thinking about projects you might want to experiment with using chat dev. All right, now I want to look at what the chat dev virtual CEO says at the beginning of any project. When you queue up a project, the first thing that is generated is uh, a CEO telling the team about the project. And the CEO goes through this prompt to the team. So it says that chat dev has made products in the following form before. Image, document, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF, and website. So just taking a look at this, you might want to take a screen grab of this, but these are some additional ideas of projects that you can create, and some of these include outputs of those projects as well. All right, and finally on to troubleshooting here. For me, it seemed that Python 3.9 worked better than newer versions. I experimented with using Python 3.11. And for some reason, maybe it was just me, but I felt like that 3.9 worked a lot better. The command for that, brew install Python 3.9, can be very helpful. Again, I'm running this on a Mac and using homebrew. If none of that makes any sense, make sure to go back and check out my video on cloning your first repository. I have a link to that in the description. And if you're getting errors related to T. Kinter, which I was, try this brew install Python TK at 3.11. Again, I'm not a coder. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but these seem to help. And always remember you've got ChatGPT that you can rely on if you're running into any of these errors getting set up in a basic way. Just hit up ChatGPT, put the error in there. Another great resource I've found is called Find, P-H-I-N-D. It is a uh, AI system specifically for coding, so that can be helpful as well. 
And thanks a ton for watching. Please consider joining my Patreon and supporting me in my mission to empower freelancers and entrepreneurs all around the world by providing comprehensive and practical AI skills to drive profitability and business success. There are dozens of other cheat sheets in there at this point. There are a ton of resources. There's some coaching options. So check it out. The cheat sheet for this video has this pretty cool prompt where I have summarized all of the different uh, softwares that are in the warehouse. And I have pulled them into a prompt here that can help you brainstorm ideas on whatever your area of interest is. So that prompt is in the cheat sheet and everything else we've gone through today is in there as well. But again, I appreciate you watching the video. Please feel free to hit me up if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, hit subscribe. This chat dev is moving very quickly and there are already a lot of advanced features here. So if you're interested in following along with that, definitely subscribe as I'll be doing more videos related to chat dev in the future. And if you got something out of this, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.